What's up YouTube, Creator House here, back with another video. Here to show you how to do this little sequence comic intro. So this is my little scene here that it, that's, was made for the intro. I just wanted to show you real quick before we get into the tutorial. Now, we're going to start with a new plane. We're going to delete the cube, get a new plane. Ooh, alright. And we're going to scale it to the size of a piece of paper. Bam. Interesting. And then we're going to make a separate plane. Actually, we're going to go into edit mode and we're going to loop cut and bring up that middle part. And then we're going to do control B to create a beveling like edge. I don't even know the name of that tool, to be honest with you. We're going to shade it smooth and we're going to create another plane and make another piece of paper. We're going to fix it. Just fix all the width. Bam. Loop cut. Now this one we'll do a little different. I want it to be a little more wrinkly. So I'm going to just add in these, move up some of the lines up and down like a little wave and, and hit control B again to create those little bevel edges. Bam. Now we're going to apply all the transformations so it doesn't mess up the picture when you put it on there. And I'm going to center the, the origin for both of those. Now I'm going to just create the, the bottom plate. It's going to look good just for the paper to lay on because you don't want it to look dumb. Go in the UV editing and we're going to add the, the paper and see how it looks. See that's sideways but we're going to fix that. Didn't realize it was going to come out sideways like that. I, I, I had raised the size on the wrong side. So we're just going to add an image texture in our shader and go down to the one we had uploaded, fix the width to the paper so it looks prop, looks right because right now it looks stretched and dumb. We're just going to fix that real quick. Then we're going to do the other one, the same thing. Fix the transformation. And then we're going to change the color of the, the bottom, fix our lighting. I sped it up right there because I mean you guys can fix the light in the however you wanted to. Now we're gonna create the 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 shadowy light part. So we have our plane. We're gonna make import a cube. Position a cube into the top left or right of whatever coin you want to start with, and add an array modifier. Booyah! We're gonna do it along the x and y axis. So you add a count, apply that, and add another array modifier. And uh, go along the X. So I'm going to scale it to how I want it to. And add a boleen to cut it. And place it right there on top of that thing. There you go. Add a circle. We're going to add a curved circle. This is going to be our controller for our lights for when we animate our lights along the location along the plane we can easily get to it instead of having to click on one of the lights bam see that beautiful and then we're going to go into our shader shader tab and then we're going to fix the lighting and get that little windowy type shade we're control the world light we're going to fix the bottom light and we're gonna fix the top light. So this was the top. Let's get into that other light. Let's see. Uh, this is the bottom light. All right, so we're gonna lower that one just a smidge, and we're gonna go up to our top light, the top, the light that's on top of the plane. We're gonna make sure that one's bright so the lower the bottom one has to be lower lower than the top light and we gotta go into our settings and make sure that our shadows are turned on hard and not soft sometimes when you have soft shadows it doesn't the shape of the the object in which the light is passing through it doesn't translate well so i gotta do all that so now we're going to add our keyframes we're going to do a timeline so we need to open up our timeline right here and create keyframes. Have one move there, move down the timeline, move light, bam, location. 
So now let's let's play it and see how it looks. Booyah! Beautiful. Beautiful. Quick rotation of the plane. Create our keyframes. Boom. Beautiful. On Blender. So I'm going to just show you all how you can do the camera. So you can add keyframes to your camera to, to get that that effect that from the, the credits. And then you can add motion blur. I didn't add motion blur. I should have. I just thought about it after I finished this tutorial. So add some motion blur to make it a little, little more realistic. And then you got your, got your uh, animation. I'm glad you guys stick around and watch. And I hope you guys follow me on my socials and add me on everything. Because why not? Why not? Let's be friends. <laughs> well, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Make sure you turn off soft shadows. I'm just reminding you. But I'll see you guys on the next one. Creator out.